I'm going to win the Arizona Coyotes a Stanley Cup. After every season, I'm going to add one Austin Matthews to this team until they win. Let's see how many Matthews it takes for this team to win a Stanley Cup. I think the hardest part about this is we're the Arizona Coyotes. Let's be frank, this team's hot garbage. And the first season came to an end, we're finishing with a 28, 46, and 8 record, 8th in the Central, and 32nd in the entire league. Clayton Keller led the way with 26 goals and 36 assists for 62 points, while Kucherov picks up 60 goals and 57 assists for 117 points to lead all scorers. And Igor Shosturkin, he's picking up 44 wins with a 934 save percentage and a 2 three goals against. In the playoffs, the Boston Bruins are defeating the San Jose Sharks in seven games to win the Stanley Cup. Marchant did his thing in the postseason, 37 points, consisting of 13 goals and 24 assists, while Swayman's picking up 16 wins with a 914 save percentage and 262 goals against. So now that we've got our first Austin Matthews on the team, we have to be honest with ourselves. We're still not a playoff team. I think it's going to take three Austins before we're at least somewhat competitive. When the season came to an end, we're finishing with a 33-39-10 record, 6th in the Central and 27th in the entire league. Austin Matthews led the way for Arizona, 55 goals and 30 35 assists for 90 points, while Nathan McKinnon led all scores with 115 points, consisting of 53 goals and 62 helpers. Igor Shosturkin, once again, he's leading all goaltenders in wins with 43 while posting a 921 save percentage and a 237 goals against. In the playoffs, the New York Rangers is going to defeat the Edmonton Oilers in five games. Pernarin did his thing, 11 goals and 16 assists for 27 points, while Igor Shosturkin's picking up 16 wins with a 918 save percentage and 253 goals against to win the Stanley Cup. So now that we got our second Austin Matthews, this team should be a bit more competitive, and we should probably be around 21st in the entire league. So I don't know how this is possible, but with a 34, 41, and 7 record, we're 7th in the Central and 28th in the entire league, worse than last season. Somehow an additional Austin Matthews made us worse. I don't even know how that's possible. It's not like Matthews had a bad season. He's still picking up 39 goals and 54 assists for 93 points. Well, Connor McDavid led all scores with 51 goals and 66 helpers for 117 points. And Jack Campbell, he's leading all goaltenders in wins. 40 wins with a 917 save percentage and a 253 goals against. In the playoffs, Edmonton's going on to win the Stanley Cup as they defeat the Boston Bruins at 5 games. Evander Kane led the way, 9 goals and 18 assists for 27 points, while Jack Campbell's picking up 16 wins with a 943 save percentage and a 162 goals against. Based on what happened last season, I'm not sure if 3 Austin Matthews is enough. I think we might need 5 or 6 before we even make the playoffs, let alone win a Stanley Cup. The team was looking slightly better this season, and I mean slightly. 36, 37, and 10, 7th in the Central, and 25th in the entire league. I don't understand how we're this bad still. Of course, Austin Matthews led the team, 42 goals and 62 assists for 104 points, while Connor McDavid led all scores once again. 49 goals and 66 helpers for 115 points. And Andre Vasilevsky, he's leading all goaltenders in wins with 45 while posting a 915 save percentage and a 251 goals against. In the playoffs, the Washington Capitals are winning another Stanley Cup as they defeat the St. Louis Blues in five games. Tarasenko led all postseason scores though, 15 goals and 13 assists for 28 points, while Darcy Kemper picks up 16 wins with a 916 save percentage and a 259 goals against to win the Stanley Cup. So not only do we have four Austin Matthews on the team, but we finally have some good line chemistry, so hopefully that helps us. Well, I can certainly say the line chemistry helped us. 49, 27, and 6. First in the Central and second in the entire league. Maybe the thing holding us back was we had a terrible coach the past four seasons. Of course, Austin Matthews, he's leading the team. 50 goals and 74 assists for 124 points. And not only was he first in the entire league, but Austin Matthews was also second and he was also third. Yeah, we're winning a Stanley Cup. And Igor Shosturkin, he's leading all goaltenders in wins with 45 while posting a 911 save percentage and a 271 goals against. In the first round, we're taking on the Chicago Blackhawks. A Keller Hattrick's helping us take game 1, 5-3. to three. And then two Boyd goals including the OT winner is giving us a 2-0 series lead. Austin Matthews is playing the OT winner in game 3 and that's giving us a 3-0 series lead. And in game 4, a 3-2 win is helping us complete the sweep. In the second round, we're going to be taking on the Colorado Avalanche. 7 goals is allowing us to take a 1-0 series lead, but 2 McKinnon goals in game 2 is going to help them even the series. A Matthews hat trick is giving us a 2-1 series lead. And then in game 4, another Austin Matthews hat trick is giving us a 3-1 series lead. And in game 5, 5 goals is going to be more than enough and we're off to the next round. In the conference finals, we're going to be taking on the Vegas Golden Knights. 4 Austin Matthews goals is going to give us a 1-0 series lead. And then 7 goals is more than enough, and we're taking a 2-0 series lead. An OT winner from Chandler Stevenson is going to keep Vegas in the series, and then a 5-1 win is going to even the series at 2 games apiece. 2 Chikorin goals is going to put us 1 game away from the Stanley Cup final, but Vegas isn't ready to fold with a 3-1 win, and they're forced in Game 7. And in Game 7, a 3-0 lead's too much to overcome, and we're falling in the Conference Finals. When the playoffs came to an end, the Tampa Bay Lightning are defeating the Vegas Golden Knights in 6 games. Honestly, I think we're 1 Austin Matthews away. Based on what we did here, I think 1 more, and we're winning a Stanley Cup. Also, I'm trying to pass the Seattle Kraken and subscribers on YouTube, so if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Matthews was fantastic for us, of course. 13 goals and 8 assists for 21
21 points, while Kucherov led all postseason scores, 10 goals and 22 assists for 32 points. And Andre Vasilevsky, of course, he's the guy, 16 wins and a 916 save percentage and a 273 goals against. Now that we got our fifth Austin Matthews, it's Stanley Cup or bust. Once again, Arizona is looking fantastic this season, 55, 17, and 10, first in the Central and first in the entire league. And Austin Matthews, he dominated, 45 goals and 90 assists for 135 points to lead the team, and we're also first, second, and third in the entire league in scoring. And it should be no surprise that Igor Shosturkin, he's leading all goaltenders in wins, 48 with a 921 save percentage, now 246 goals against. And in the first round, we're taking on the Los Angeles Kings. LA is going to be able to steal game one, three to one, and then four on answer is going to put them up two games to none. All right, there's no way we get swept, right? We have five Austin Matthews on this team. There's no way we should lose like this. Luckily, an Austin Matthews hat trick is going to keep us alive, but we're still down three games to one, and in game five, we're falling. You hate to see it, you really do. When the playoffs came to an end, the Carolina Hurricanes are defeating the LA Kings in five games. But let's keep it a stack. How did an additional Austin Matthews lead to us losing to the LA Kings? That just doesn't make any sense. Matthews was pretty solid in the postseason, though. Three goals and five assists for eight points, while Pacioretty is picking up eight goals and 12 assists for 20 points to lead all postseason scores. And Anderson, he's picking up 16 wins with a 924 save percentage and 226 goals against to win the Stanley Cup. So we've just picked up our sixth Austin Matthews. Yeah, let's not lose to the LA Kings in the first round this time. Of course, the Arizona Coyotes are going to be at the top of the league once again with a 55-26-1 record, first in the Central and first in the entire league. Austin Matthews, he wasn't quite as dominant this season. 33 goals and 74 assists for 107 points, while Nathan McKinnon leads all scores with 114 points, consisting of 53 goals and 61 assists. And Darcy Kemper, he's going to lead all goaltenders in wins with 43 while hosting a 914 save percentage and a 260 goals against. In the first round, we're taking on the St. Louis Blues. Arizona is opening the series with a 5-3 Game 1 win, but the Blues are responding in Game 2 with a 5-2 win to even the series. Two Matthews goals are going to give us a 2-1 series lead, and then a 4-0 leads too much to overcome, and we're up 3 games to 1. And in Game 5, a 6-3 win sending us to the next round. In the second round, we're going to take it on the Colorado Avalanche. The Avs are taking Game 1 3-1, but Arizona is able to respond in Game 2 with a 5-2 win. An OT winner from Austin Matthews is going to give us a 2-1 series lead, but the Avs are keeping the series close as they're taking Game 4 4-3. Game 5 was a high scoring one, but Arizona is going to come out on top 7-6, and then another 7-goal game is sending us to the next round. In the conference finals, we're going to take on the Anaheim Ducks. An OT winner from Austin Matthews has given us a 1-0 series lead, but the Ducks are taking a high scoring game 2, 7-6. The Ducks' momentum would continue into game 3 as they're winning 6-4, but Arizona is going to respond with a high scoring game of their own with a 7-2 win. I guess goaltending has disappeared because the Ducks are going to pot 7 in game 5 and they're going to put us on the brink of elimination. But Arizona isn't ready to fold. Patrick Namath is going to score a late goal to force game 7, but in game 7, the Austin Matthews are going to take over. They're scoring all 6 goals and we're off to the Stanley Cup final. And in the Stanley Cup final, it's a perfect matchup. The Arizona Coyotes versus the Toronto Maple Leafs, it's Austin Matthews versus the Leafs. The Leafs are opening the series with a 5-3 win. Arizona is responding in game 2 with a 31 save shutout from Vimelka. Game 3 was an important one and Arizona is coming out on top 4-2 and then 2 third period goals from Austin Matthews is going to put us one game away from hoisting the Stanley Cup. Toronto is able to survive another day with a 4-1 win, but Arizona is going to shut the door in game 6 and they're winning the Stanley Cup in a 7-5 win. Austin Matthews was fantastic, 11 goals and 23 assists for 34 points, while the Leafs Austin Matthews is also tied for 34 points. And Vimelka, he's going to be the Stanley Cup winning goaltender, 16 wins with an 894 save percentage and a 325 goals against. I can't believe he won a Stanley Cup with those numbers. So I'm a bit surprised it only took 6 Austin Matthews, because the fact that it took us 4 just to make the playoffs is kind of ridiculous. Like I know this team is bad, but come on, I didn't think Arizona was this bad. 